Hello, Blue Collar Preppers. This is Aaron Pellet. Welcome to Apocavox Unboxing Number 10, February 2016 edition. First of all, I want to apologize if my sound quality is off. My microphone stand broke. One of the legs just broke right off, and I am having to make do with this desktop. So if I don't speak into the microphone, if I'm not clear, I do apologize. I'm working to fix that. So without further ado, let's get into it. We've got a lot of good stuff here in this box. Creek is showing his love for us. Aw, look at all the hearts. <clears throat> All right, we've got the advertising. Horse bow, we've seen it before, it's cool. It hasn't gone up in price like they threatened. It's still $99. Some stuff by Reptile Toolworks. These are the folks who are doing the Aboriginal Tool Series, which we'll see in a moment. <clears throat> but you have some woodworking tools and some steel arrowheads that look like they're made out of flint. There are no prices listed here, but if you want to find out more, you are instructed to go to KentuckyRiverTradingCompany.com and look around, or you can check Facebook for Reptile Tool Works. So, speaking of them, what we have in this month is an awl, and an awl pokes holes in things, in leather, in wood, in skin if you're not careful. It does just does the one thing, but it does it very well, and it's very useful. This is the tool from last month. It's a draw knife. You can see they're pretty much the same thing, just a metal tool and a wooden shaft. And you use both of them to make this, the Ojibwa bird snare. There are the instructions. And you have two. This one is completely finished. I'm not going to try and assemble it. It would make a mess. And you have this version, the 80% lower. And you need to carve it and drill a hole in it. See how that one has a hole and that one doesn't? Well, you've got a hole pokey thingy. Moving on. Creek loves patches. Here is a vinyl patch, well, plastic, whatever, with a Velcro coating. You put that on your fire bundle, assuming that it has Velcro backing, and you'll always know where your fire kit is. That's $5. A short story written by Creek. Stuck. This one is $6. This is a very fast read. It is about 70 pages. It's done in the style of Jack London's To Build a Fire. So if you've read that, you'll know what I'm talking about. If not, this is survival fiction, and it talks about the story of Mike, who is a student, and who gets stuck in quicksand and has to survive. It's done in the first person. If you like that kind of story, you will really enjoy it. I know I do. If you don't like it, there's nothing I can do for you. How to Live Under a Tarp, $9. This book, like the title says, tells you how to live under a tarp, and it's got all the different ways to do it, photographs and illustrations, with a very simple A-frame to start out with, and then moving on to far more complicated versions, ending up with a yurt. And there are other things here as well. It'll show you how to make furniture. And for those people who don't want to hunt birds, that tells you how to make an alarm out of your bird snare. And so if you've got a book on how to live under a tarp, it only makes sense that there is a tarp here as well. <clears throat> this is the six foot by nine foot Apaka tarp, $17. This is not meant as an everyday use tarp. It's too thin, it'll get worn out. This is an emergency tarp, as you can see. It's got the reflective surface to reflect back uh, heat on you and the uh, Rescue Me International Blaze Orange. And there are grommets on here, so you can string it up just like the book suggests. 
And so this is not the sort of thing that you carry with you on a regular basis, but you put it in your car, in your bug out kit, it'll help you out. Wildflower honey straws, three for three dollars. <clears throat> honey is really useful and it deserves a place in your bug out bag. In addition to sweetening your tea or coffee, it can be used just as food its own self, give you a burst of energy. You can give it to someone who's diabetic or hyperglycemic to increase their blood sugar. Honey has a lot of good uses. The best thing about it though is that it doesn't go bad, and I mean ever. A, there have been tombs in the Middle East where they have found jars of honey, and the honey is still good. It's because it's got antimicrobial properties. And these are just basic drinking straws where the end has been cut off, and you take a close pin, you mash it down, and then you melt it in place with a, with a lighter. Fill it up with honey or whatever else you want to fill it up with. Do the same thing. You have a no-spill container. Uh, okay. A lot of people are going to say things like, well, honey for $3, that's ridiculous. I can just pour my own honey into straws. And my answer is yes, you should absolutely do that. Because I know perfectly well that if you source material yourself, you're going to do it cheaper than if you go out and buy it. Because I've built my own bug out bag, and it's a lot cheaper than if I got one pre-built. But these exemplify the Apocalypse box as a whole. And by that I mean the real value of this box isn't what all is in it. It's what it exposes you to and what it teaches you. I have learned things just from getting these boxes. And I consider that a good use of the money. So if you didn't know that you should have honey in your bug out bag, that right there, that information is worth $3. There are two ways to make fire in this kit, two. Uh, one is very low-tech, one is very high-tech. Well, I guess it depends on how you define high-tech. <clears throat> what you have here are a milkweed pod and some latex balloons. And you start fire... You fill these up with water. It doesn't have to be latex balloons. It could be a condom. could be a plastic bag. could be a water bottle. And you use that water to magnify sunlight, and you start to set this on fire. The pods were sourced by Creek's parents. They gathered like 3,000 of them, so way to go, Mr. and Mrs. Stewart. And you've got two of these balloons. They are $5. There's a video on, I think, the Box website on how to do it. I, I will link to it. The other more high-tech version is a fire piston. And this is listed as $40. And that is perfectly in keeping with what I've seen. I think the cheapest I've ever seen a fire piston is like $30. And some of them go up really ridiculous, like over 100 But what it is... You have a plunger and a tube, and they're supposed to fit very close together. And you ram that plunger down into this captive tube. And if you do it hard enough and fast enough, you will create enough pressure that the air will auto-ignite. That'll create a spark. And at the very end of the plunger is your tinder. And in this case, it's char cloth. I'm sorry, char rope. Not much difference, just rope is ropey and cloth is clothy. In previous pocket boxes, there was a kit on how to make char cloth. Guess what? You can make char rope the same way. And so you just use that as your tinder. You get the spark, and then you put it in your tinder bundle, and you make fire. And this one is made of a clear material, so you can see what you're doing 
which is neat both for the gee whiz factor and also so you will know immediately whether you've got a spark going and you need to pull it out or if it didn't work and you have time to reconfigure your, your setup. $40 in case I didn't mention that. And finally, there is a Team Apocabox pennant, which is listed as being free. And the point of this is you take this pennant with you when you go on adventures, whether it's hiking or camping or mountain climbing or kayaking, and take a picture of yourself with the pennant at a really cool place, and you post it to your social media of choice, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and I don't know if there's anything that says Creek will reward you, but he definitely wants to see them. So at the very least, you're going to get the adulation of your peers if you make a really good photograph at a really cool place. And who knows, you might get a little something, something. And if you like pennants, there's a coupon here to get 10% uh, off your custom pennant. So that is the February pocket box. I've added up the totals. It comes out to $110. The box is 50 plus $10 shipping. You don't quite get half, I'm sorry, you don't quite get double your money, but it's pretty close. I like it. I will continue to use it. Uh, oh, one more thing. Last, uh, last Apaka box, we were given a chunk of wood and told to make a spoon using the draw knife. Uh, I wanted to show off mine. It's not finished, it's not perfect. I've had some problems with cracking, so I've had to use some wood putty on it, but hey y'all, that's a spoon right there. I've got to finish cleaning it up and I'm gonna seal it and stain it. But I wanted to brag a little bit. I have never carved anything with wood before, but I was given a really good tool. And this was fun to do, I did it while I was watching TV during the commercials, or if it was a documentary and I didn't need to see what I was doing, I just sat there and carved. So that was really fun. All right, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I will be sure to answer them. And otherwise, have a great weekend, everybody. Bye.